Hello, hello. I'm Chris with the Legacy Team. And this is part four of producing the kitchen cabinetry project. So far we've done the sheet processing, the cabinet box assembly, also the toe kick and cabinet box installation at the job site. In this video, we're gonna focus specifically on producing the two piece raised panel doors and assembling the drawer boxes. So let's get it done. To produce all the doors for this kitchen project, we nested all of the door components over multiple sheets, but here we're going to demonstrate just producing one frame and one door and how they come together. These parts were all produced on Legacy's Maverick 4x8 Gen 4 CNC system with the auto tool change and vacuum table options. Now the first tool is this five millimeter drill and that's simply going to create a through hole for the handle hardware of the door. The next cutter is a quarter inch up spiral cutter to clear out the smaller pockets for the door hinge hardware. To finish the larger areas of the hinge pockets, we used a 3 8 down spiral end mill. That cutter then proceeded to remove the excess material around the outer edge of our raised panels. Next, a two inch core box cutter followed along the edges to create a raised cove effect for the panels. Next, a quarter inch down spiral end mill is used to cut a dadoed shoulder as well as a through cut so that the raised panel could fit directly into the frame. With all the detail work now complete, we're ready to now cut out the parts from the original sheet. This is done using a two cutter process. This first cutter is a 3 8 diameter down spiral roughing end mill. We use this two cutter approach for a couple of reasons. First, this roughing cutter can remove material much faster than our finishing tool. Second, our half inch compression end mill now has less material to remove, which reduces the heat so the cutter lasts longer and gives us a finer finish, which requires less sanding and finish work. We can see that once these parts are all cleaned up, they fit together quite nicely and give us a very clean raised panel look. Even with six tool changes, each door took about 10 minutes to cut. And with a little light sanding, this door is now ready to be painted and assembled with the rest of the cabinet. Now let's jump over to Michael and Tracy showing how to assemble a drawer box. So we got our box built and the next step is assemble a drawer. We're gonna show how that works. Yeah, sure. Tell me about these the drawer hardware you've got here. This yeah. is fascinating. My favorite style, and there are many. We call these system drawers, or I call them system drawers. And there are many different manufacturers that do a system drawer. Who one of my one? favorite, yeah, this is the Bloom Legra box. And I really, really like what uh, the effort that Bloom has put into this drawer line. They're beautiful. So these are the sides of the drawer mm -hmm. right here. And uh, we have other little various hardware that goes with it. So with a drawer like this, you only need two parts. You need okay. a bottom, okay, and you need a back. So I think uh, we have a. I've got a bottom right here. Got a bottom, okay. I've got a bottom. So this, obviously, we cut on the CNC. Correct. We cut this reveal or this, yep. you know, what, um, rabbit. rabbit, I guess, mm -hmm. is what you'd call it, and even pilot drill some of these. That's all done on the CNC. Correct. Okay, and then as far as the back? Yeah, so we have a back piece too. Now this can be done on the CNC and there are a couple pilot holes in here also. So the next step is? Right, so then the next step, once we've got these pilot holes, is that we're gonna put on our hardware. Okay. So we have two clips. All right. And I use a small truss head screw or pan head screw. Okay, so it's just capping the ends of these yep, parts. Correct. So, yeah. so ends are capped. 
Mm -hmm. Of course, we've edge banded it. So that, your back's all ready to go then. Right. Okay. So we begin by pressing our backs into our sides. And it just snaps in. Mm-hmm. Stand them up on their back. Is that the bottom? Yeah, here's the bottom for you. Okay. Bottom goes into place, and that's basically all we need to do. I guess if you check this back edge, it yeah. would ensure that it was Helps square. to align. Make sure that's aligned. Okay. Sweet. Flip that over. Let's take a look. Wow, that is clean inside. That is mm -hmm. beautiful. Yeah, very nice drawer. And then once we install, Yes. You put the drawer fronts on. The backs will fit right in. We have fixing brackets Those that go into right. the mechanism here. Those fixing brackets interface with these adjusters, so they go up and down, back That's and forth. Yep. Again, a big thank you to Michael Zamarza for sharing his experience and guiding us through the steps of producing this kitchen cabinetry project. Now, if you're interested in learning more about what a legacy CNC can do for you, I recommend visiting our website at Legacy Woodworking. Com. If you have any questions, you can always leave them down below in the comments, but you're always welcome to talk with one of our CNC experts by calling 801-491-0010. If you'd like to see more cutting demonstrations, don't hesitate to click right over there. Uh, obviously, always give us a like, subscribe, check that notification box so you can be notified when new videos come out. And as always, thank you for watching. And remember, Legacy solves more woodworking problems than any other CNC manufacturer in the industry.